Hey guys, welcome back to another mod review on this channel. Today I'm going to show you the Vicecraft Machines mod for Forge Minecraft version 1.19. This mod adds really amazing ground and flying machines to the game with which you are able to travel your Minecraft world. So let's take a closer look at the mod. We start off with how you can construct your vehicle. For many items and also for the construction of your machines you need a new material called Xagonite Shard. Xagonite shards drop from any copper, iron and gold ores. Now that we obtained Xagonite shards, we can craft a machine parts mold mix by adding clay, coal and wooden planks. Next we smelt this machine parts mold mix to receive machine parts. These machine parts are necessary for a lot of items in this mod, so you will need many of them. Afterwards we need to craft logic circuits by adding machine parts, gold nuggets and redstone dust together. We take these logic circuits and add machine parts and a book to them to obtain an instruction circuit. And at this point you decide which machine you want to craft. Depending on the place you put the book in the crafting table, you can craft a flying or ground machine. We will craft a flying machine. Now that we received the instruction circuit for a flying machine, we put it together with machine parts into the crafting table to obtain our machine chassis. We can right click with the machine chassis in our hands to place it on the ground. Next we need to apply three construction kits to this frame. To craft these construction kits you need to add a book, redstone dust, a logic circuit and kit frameworks together in the crafting table. Kit frameworks can be crafted using two machine parts. All three of these construction kits are crafted similarly and only differentiate in the placement of the book in the crafting table. Next we add the construction kit panel, metal and cloth by sneaking and right clicking with them on the machine chassis. To finish the construction we sneak and right click with a machine wrench on the chassis. Players who finish construction become the default owner of the machine. If you want to turn the machine chassis back into an item, sneak and right click the frame with an empty hand. This will preserve any applied construction kits. The procedure for crafting the ground machine is exactly the same. You only need to craft a different instruction circuit, as mentioned. If you want to, you can customize your vehicle by crafting a detailing kit for the panel, metal, cloth and frame. Using these kits, you can give the different components of your machine a variety of textures and therefore customize it to your liking. So how can we use our new vehicle? Machines need to be powered on and have fuel to move. Start with opening the machine's main menu by pressing R, you can change the key in the controls, or while looking at the machine and sneaking plus right clicking. Drag either machine pallets, which is the most efficient fuel, or coal into the fuel slot. Afterwards you can click the power button to turn on the machine. The button will light up green showing you it is on. When a machine runs out of fuel, it will stop moving and fall to the ground until more fuel is added. When you stop flying and exit the machine, don't forget to turn it off to conserve fuel, because otherwise active fuel will still be consumed. You can move upwards by pressing space, forwards by pressing W, backwards by pressing S and downwards by pressing X. Turn left or right by pressing A or D. You can also increase your speed and activate the turbo mode by pressing G. You can change the key in the controls. Your machine will move twice as fast, but fuel and durability will also drain 25% faster. The ground machine works similar, but is always hovering a few blocks above the ground and can only move up a little bit for a short amount of time. The machines also have a durability system. As the machine runs or takes damage, the durability is slowly reduced over time. When the durability is low, the machine engines will periodically backfire and will begin to smoke. If the durability reaches zero, the machine will break. You can look up the durability in the machine's main menu. Broken machines can't turn on and must be patched in order to be used again. To patch a machine, grab your machine wrench and sneak and right click. When a machine is patched, it will exit the broken state, but it will only have 5 durability. Make sure to apply a durability service kit to increase the durability and to repair the machine. Because if you patch up your machine 3 times in a row without repairing it using a durability service kit, it will cause the machine to explode. When a machine explodes, it will convert back to a machine chassis minus one random construction kit. The machines also have some further features such as a locking system. Machines can be locked by the owner. 
If locked, no one but the owner will be able to enter the machine or access core features of the machine's main menu. Owners always have access to the locked machines. A machine owner can use the ignition key to allow non-owners access to a locked machine. You program the key by sneaking and right-clicking. Then you can give it to other players. The key programs itself to the player so it can be used to access all machines that the player owns. The key must be placed in the key slot in the machine's main menu to override the lock. If a correctly assigned key is in the key slot, the lights on the side of the key slot will light up green. If not, the lights will be red. There is also a music system included in the machines. Just insert any music disc into the record slot in the machine's main menu and press play. If you want to stop the music disc, just press the stop button. This is it for this video. I personally really love the steampunk style of this mod and the machines which look pretty cool. In the future, the developers also plan to add sea machines, hauler machines and underwater machines, which sounds really exciting. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you don't want to miss any further reviews, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.